It's a completely different world 120 feet deep into the ocean. A school of fish scurries past, jellies glide up and down. An octopus crawls along the ocean floor, and a scuba diver captures it on film. It's an underwater world most of us don't get the chance to see firsthand. I'd love to dive everywhere because there's so much to explore, and just the amount of life in our own waters, you know, so outstanding that I can only imagine what it's like throughout the world. Dan Witchuk is an aquarist at the Shaw Ocean Discovery Centre. He's been diving for about seven years now, and as a scientific diver, he takes his passion for exploring to the oceans and the aquarium. This is the best part. You really want to be comfortable when you're in the water, so they're really planning everything beforehand so that you have almost no mistakes when you're in the water because uh, while it is really safe, you know, if something bad happens, you're underwater and that can be dangerous. Dry suit on, oxygen tank full, Diver Dan, a nickname he's acquired over the last year, is about to take a quick tank plunge. But it's not a full-on dive. Rule number one, always dive with a buddy. Dan was alone at the time of filming, so he gave us a taste of what it's like to dive indoors. His job in the tank is maintenance and making sure the exhibit looks the best it can. It's very different, uh, especially when you have, you know, 30 or 40 little kids staring back and waving at you, and it's really fun to be interactive with them. But it's pretty cool to spend all your time with the animals, looking in from the outside, and then finally get to be in there with them and see their perspective. When I think of diving, my mind automatically goes to bright, colorful fish, tropical waters, places like the Great Barrier Reef. But it's said our very own Salish Sea is actually one of the top places to go diving in the whole entire world. I mean, the life here isn't quite as immediately bright and extravagant as, say, some of the tropical diving. Uh, but the whole production of, you know, putting on a dry suit, getting into cold water, uh, and then really discovering, say, an octopus or something really interesting is so much more rewarding than just being thrown in and seeing all these little fish everywhere. You know, it's, it's different. Um, we have a cold water currents that come off of the Pacific, bringing a lot of nutrients from the bottom of the ocean. So that allows uh, for a lot of food to live in our, in our waters, and that means an incredible diversity of animals. That diversity can be seen in rockfish, wolf eels, giant Pacific octopus, sea anemones, kelp forests, or one of Dan's favorite underwater playmates, a stellar sea lion. They're playful, they come right up to you. Uh, they nip on your fins, they do all sorts of fun stuff, and it's just, it was like probably the best life experience I've had. Dan says his dives last anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how long his body can stand the 8 degrees seawater. But Diver Dan says don't let the temperature hold you back from discovering some of the world's best cold water diving. In Sydney, I'm Jen Moran, it's Discovering Our Salish Sea.